Hi, this is Henry Cobb with yet another uh, The Fantasy Trip exercise for uh, the 4th of January 2020. And this time uh, we're going back to the Knights versus Spearsmen, but uh, with a few rule changes. Basically, when someone tries to run you over, if it's a wasp or a 14 hex dragon or a horse or a man or an orc or anything, you have multiple choices that resolve mostly to, hey, let's get into hand to hand or let's uh, put us a stop hit to try to keep them from out of my hex, or let's hop, uh, let's let them have the hex and try to hop out of it. And the, these are uh, described in my house rules. And so uh, the characters here are two very experienced and well-equipped knights versus some rebel. So for the knights here, uh, as, as, uh, using some suggestions from the forums, I've made it so that they maximize their available decks, and this is a 38-point character, very experienced. And note that he's not carrying the sword or the shield that's attached to the horse. The reason for this is you basically, because the lance is so heavy in TFT, that you got the fine plate, you get the lance, and then you get a dagger, and then you're out of strength. So these, these uh, two characters will be dual-wielding, Lance and dagger. Dagger being a perfectly accessible weapon to use from horseback, I guess. And so the uh, sword and the uh, shield are then charged against the horse's encumbrance, and the horse has been moved down to cloth barding. So the, the horse is actually at full dex. Cloth barding is... Uh, cloth armor is minus one dex for a human, but barding is a one dex improvement for a riding animal. And now, note that I'm using my modified encumbrance. So this means as a two-hex critter, instead of being at 8.1 times strength, the horse it, it divides its encumbrance, uh, the, the weight it's carrying, by its size and hexes. It gets down to 4.05 times strength, which is only a minus 6 on movement here. And so the, the horse is a lot faster with this adjustment. All right, and now here's a rabble. First, the line of Spearsmen, the men-at-arms, and they're wearing um, a cloth armor with uh, a small shield and short sword uh, on their backs, and a, two, uh, a spear in two hands. The reason why they're using a two-handed spear technique is because I've house-ruled that if you have a two-handed polearm, it negates the penalty for striking a horseman you know, uh, mounted types and, and people above you, because traditionally that's what they did, is when horses came around, people went two-handed pole arms and uh, poked at them. And then the, the three, uh, three spearmen are in here in front of a pair of light crossbowmen, which is more or less a standard light crossbow sniper that uh, Neo, FTT, F, Neo Fantasy Trip has uh, introduced which is you get your light crossbow, you get your dex low, and then you add three to your dex by uh, using sucking up your talent uh, points and for missile weapons three, and then you get a shot a turn at uh, two dice damage, which is uh, more effective than a longbow, apparently. Uh, whatever history had to say about that. All right. And uh, to simplify matters, I will give initiative to the, uh, the knights on horse uh, first, here is the prince, who's, uh, like, like you see, he's got a lance and a dagger. And then on the brown horse is his faithful knight retainer, longtime companion of some sort, who's got a lance and a dagger also. All right, and uh, the rabble here are black spear. Yellow spear. And patch with that eye patch uh, for the front line. And then behind them, eh, 3D figure earrings. Behind them are Mr. Blackbow here. And Mrs., I guess, Greenbow. And so I've just uh, given initiative and first move to the knights because they've been charging through and they suddenly come across this line, and they're going to try to break through it. So now the horses have a movement value of 18, 
so let's see if we can topple some spearmen with just a direct charge. All right, first tonight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right onto the spearsman as he's trying to go. So the spearsman has got a, uh, doing a stop hit here. And he's uh, dust 12, which is plus 2 to 14. And he's got no adjustment for striking at a man on a horse because he's got a, a two-handed polearm, which is a two-handed spear. So he needs to roll a 14 or less against the uh, knight here. And with a 12 is a hit. And so now it's one die plus one. Plus another die for a uh, charge of defense, standing charge of defense. Plus another two for a uh, high speed uh, horse. So that's two dice plus three total. Eight plus three is eleven. And let's see how well this guy is going. All right, so now he's got. Um, he doesn't have the small shield, but he has the fine plate and he's got the toughness. So 11 and then minus 7 is uh, 4 points on him. Alright. Turn 1. Alright, and that's enough to uh, uh, four points is enough to uh, on the rider. I guess four points on the rider will uh, stop the mount. So he stops there. All right. Now his uh, friend the prince here comes. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Yeah, let's see. One, two, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Again, he has to be directly in front of the target to uh, get him with the, the lance. And so another stop hit here. Another adjusted dex 14 from uh, Patch. And Patch hits for two dice plus three. Seven plus three is ten. And, again, there is 7 points protection, so that's 3 hits on the Prince himself. Which I guess is, again, another stop hit on Ryder to stop the mount. To what extent that makes sense. Alright, now the rabble get to move. So this guy is going to, uh... Two, let's do a charge attack, and, uh, what are these guys at? You're at MA-10. One, two... And rats. Can't get a good charge attack here because there's too much clutter. Alright, so he's just going to move up to there. Well, let's see. Now he wants to, he wants to leave a clearing for the crossbow person. Dunk. So you're gonna move up to there and jab. And that's that's Black Spear's move. And, uh, green bow moves up to there. Black bow retains position. So now. It goes off on just a dex turn. The knights are on just a dex 10. Their horses have moved too far to do anything. So it is the crossbows. All right, black bow versus uh, the prince. No 14, no adjustment for range. Ooh, double damage hit with a four. All right, two dice doubled. Seven, that's 14. My seven points protection is seven damage. 
one, two, three, four, five. Ten out of thirteen hits, and the prince falls off his horse, having taken ten hits. So he's down the ground here, under the animal. Thump. Hopefully he doesn't get trampled. All right, and now Greenbow here is going to shoot at that knight. With an eight, that's a hit. Two dice, minus seven points of reduction. Ooh, 12, that's five points. One, two, three, four, five. That's a total of nine damage a turn. Both of the knights have fallen off their horses, and I'm gonna call the game there. So obviously, it does no good to charge directly into uh, spears that are set against you. Even though that was that was a pretty darn lucky roll there, all around, for the crossbows especially. So we will reset and try some different tactics. So we can't just charge in here, but we can jab. So let's let's try. All right. Yeah, well, let's try the jab. So again, the horse uh, horsemen have the uh, first move. Here we go. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. And nine. All right, those, 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 those are setting up for charge attacks or jabs, depending on what the rebel do. All right, um, these guys are both going to um, stand their ground. Let's see. But this guy, Patch, is going to go one, two, three, four. There. All right. So that's, a, that's definitely a charge attack there. And so it's adjusted decks because they're, uh, well, the lance is sort of out of position for a sweeping blow. So, that's 12. Yep, the, 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 uh, lance, uh, the, oh yeah, now these guys are going to move up one to get clear shots. So, Patch. Gets his charge attack. He doesn't get a plus two on his deck. He just decks 12. He does get, uh, let's see, plus two damage and plus one die damage because he's in the charge. Go patch. 13 is a miss because he moved. All right. Now the jabs back and forth. It's 12 for the standing spearsmen versus 10 for the knights. So here we go. A black spear against the knight. No, wait a second. Ah, the next thing that goes off is the crossbows. Because they have their missile weapons talents, they get to act first. So, uh, let's see. They're, they're both going to go after the prince. Let's see if they can knock him out. All right. Black bow here has got a fairly clear line of fire. Yeah, seems to be. That's a hit. Two dice, minus seven. Eleven is four points on the prince. And now Greenbow, also on the prince. Bring him down. Knock off that crown. Ah, there's another hit for nine. And the damage is just two dice. Five minus seven, no dice. All right. Now jabs back and forth. The the jabs don't get the extra die, but they do get. But because of the speed, they get the plus two damage. So here we go. And uh, the knights are at ten. And the minute arms are at dex twelve, so they go first. So black spear versus the uh, knight. Uh, 
uh, with an 11 is a hit. There, uh, there's no plus two for a charge because this isn't charged. So it's one die plus three. Four plus three is seven. Minus seven defense is nothing. All right, and now yellow spear versus the prince. Knock him off that horse. All right, 12 is exactly a hit for one die plus three minus seven. So seven minus seven is nothing. All right, now the jabs, the uh, the knights get their jabs with their uh, lances. Three dice minus one damage if they hit. All right, uh, ten or less to jab at uh, Black Spear from the knight. That's a hit for three dice minus one. Uh, all right, that is nine. That's eight. And then he has a uh, cloth armor that seven hits onto Black Spear. He's still there. He doesn't fall over, but he's kind of hurting. All right, and now Prince is jab. Is jab note that he has to jab directly ahead onto Yellow Spear again. A ten to hit. All right, uh, Black Spear took the additional two points of damage because of the uh, charge. So he took nine points total, and he fell down. Boop. All right, so now the uh, the Prince here rolled a 14, and it was a clear miss. All right. So now, turn two. All right, who has the initiative? Purple is royalty, white is rebel. The rebel have the initiative until the mounted guy has to move first. Now, do I want to trample that guy who's down? Or do I want to, let's see. Yeah, there's the prince, uh, let's see. I, I think uh, the prince is going to move first to clear the way out here. So, well... And, dang. Yeah, this is, uh, the, 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 his nice his nice friend here is kind of tied up at the edge. And he's going to move, yeah, he's just going to move up like that. And continuing the general charge here, there. All right, so they're crowding in. All right, now the rebel gets to move. This crossbow guy is going to shift out to there. This guy is going to shift to a side hex. Uh, crossbow really doesn't like being engaged. Like that. And this guy is going to stand his ground like that. And uh, at the end of the turn, uh, Black Spear is going to try to get up. If he's still around. All right. So now, yeah, there's no charge attacks. So the highest uh, highest dex is with the, um, let's see. So yeah, the minute arms got base dex 12 for action. All right, so the crossbow shot from uh, Black Bow onto the Prince. It was first. Oh, wait a second. Ah, the, here's a side hex. Yes, the side hex definitely has, well, he's 14. All right, we'll let the side hex go first. You know, they're friendly. So, 14 to hit on the uh, prince. And that's a hit. And one die plus one minus seven, which is, of course, completely useless. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have to do something uh, extra special to get through that. All right, now, Black Bow versus the Prince. It's a hit for two dice minus seven. Nine, he does two hits on the Prince. He's lost almost half his hits. 
All right. And um, the other minute arms here is doing a spear attack against the prince. Bring him down. Bring that crown on the ground. And with a 14, that's a clear miss. All right, adjusted dex 11. Does a step back. Green does a step back here. And now adjusted dex 10 is uh, these guys. All right, they're going to they're going to poke the guys in front of them because that seems to be so. Uh, Brown Knight versus Green Crossbowman as a 10 to hit. With a 12 is a miss. That's a jab. And now here is a poke directly on uh, from the Prince onto Yellow Spear. And another 15. Yep, miss. All right. That's uh, then at the end of turn two. Black Spear is finally on his feet, though quite a bit. Let's see. He's taken nine out of Yes, he's definitely wobbly. He's going to be at a reduced dex for the rest of the game. All right, now, turn three. Royalty is purple. Royalty has the initiative. They tell the rebel to go first. Let's see, let's see what you can do, rebel. Rebel, rebel. All right. Um, Make that. And this, uh, this part is back. Well, unless he's going to jab at the back. And the crossbowmen uh, stand their ground. All right, so we try to push through these guys. All right, let's let's go let's go on the let's let's proceed to the trampling. All right, Brown Knight here is going to shift one, which which is all he can do since he's engaged with uh, two figures next to him, onto uh, Black Spear here, and get him out of the game. All right, so Black Spear is at minus three dex, and he's going to take a spear attack, which is at uh, nine to hit. Ten, miss. All right, and he's uh, getting trampled here. Nay, I say. All right, and um, you know, the Prince is going to push forwards onto Yellow Spear, who tries his. Stop hit. All right, with 12, that's exactly a hit for the stop hit. For one die plus one. Seven points, minus seven is nothing. So, trample. And he's underfoot there. All right. You're under my hose. All right. So. Uh, this guy is going to... All right, so now the crossbow go next. So green bow versus the prince. Which is a 13, which is a hit. Two dice, minus seven. Seven minus seven is nothing. Black bow versus the prince. Fourteen to hit. Hit. Oops. And does uh, two dice. Yeah, and a little backed up one. Eight minus seven is one more hit on the prince. So he's got six to go. He's still hanging in there. All right. Now, uh, the next turn, the trampling will present, uh, proceed. So on this turn, 
uh, they can roll a, uh, they're being trampled by larger figures, which means they uh, can take, well, they already use their action with a soft hit. So next turn, they can uh, try to get out from under. And next turn, the, the trampling will, will commence if they're still under. So, and now I'll poke here from the side, uh, from uh, Patch, onto the prince's horse. And he can't quite reach the prince himself. That's definitely a hit. One die plus one, minus one for the uh, balding. Five points on the prince's horse. All right. And, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, and now the, uh, combat option for the, uh, all right, well, we'll try daggers. Uh, they'll, they'll use their daggers on the, uh, folks underneath them. There you go. Plus four to hit. Go on underneath with a dagger somehow from horseback. All right, and so that is 10 plus 4 is 14. All right, Black Spear, poking you with a dagger. And it's not just any dagger. These guys have got fine daggers that do one die. Well, one die plus three at a hand-to-hand, -hand, but they're not in hand-to-hand. -hand. There's a horse in the way. The logic of this is case, but let's see how it works out. All right, so stabbing Black Spear. That's a hit for one die of damage. Four. Black Spear has got uh, one point of protection. So he takes three hits, and Black Spear is no more. Here, let's uh, put a expired counter underneath you. So much for the black spear. And apparently the horse is no problem moving over a single uh, human being. All right, now here we go. The prince is using his dagger against a uh, yellow spear. 14 to hit, one die damage. And that's a hit. For six points. Uh, which he takes five because he's got cloth armor. All right. So, next turn. Turn four. Royalty is purple. Royalty has the initiative and tells the rabble to move first. And so... Here, let's put a full encounter here where Yellow Spear is. All right. And we, let's see, I can engage him. All right, I'm going to move up there to engage him. And, um,. The crossbows are going to back into the corner as best they can. All right. So. Um, Brown Knight has got no one really bothering him. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thump. Charge attack from the side. All right, and the prince is engaged, so he's going to shift one to there. Also poking, oh, let's see. Stay engaged to, now he's gonna stand his ground and, and poke at the, the crosswoman. That sounds like a better deal here. All right, so charge attack from the side goes first. Thirteen, and you need a twelve for a side attack. So that's a whiff. 
All right, now a normal spear attack here from the side. He's got a 12 plus two is 14. And he's gonna, he's gonna strike at the prince's horse. You can bring it out. The spear is no good against the prince's armor, obviously. All right, that's a hit. For one die plus one against the horse, minus one, so it's a straight one die. One point. Nay. All right, now the crossbows go off. Green bow versus the prince. There's a hit for two dice minus seven. That is ten. That's three more points on the prince. Three. The prince is in out strength three and is minus three dex for the rest of the game. All right, Blackbow is going to try to finish off that darn prince. That is a 12 for a hit. Two dice minus seven. And no damage. All right. Now the prince does his jab. Adjusted deck seven because he's uh, very low on strength. It's a miss. And his horse does a trample on yellow spear underneath him. So the horse has got uh, deck 13. Particular bonus there. And that's a hit. And the trample does two dice. Nine points on Yellow Spear. All right, Yellow Spear is out of there. Poof. And that is now a dead Spearsman. All right, and that's it for that turn. So the next turn, we're wearing off to. All right, so turn five. Who has the initiative? Ah, uh, the rebel have the initiative until the royalties move first. All right, let's see. Uh, both of the both of the horsemen are engaged. Uh, uh, this horseman is not engaged, so he's going to go. I wish it, the yeah the rebel had the initiative and the so they told the knights to go first. All right, he goes. One, two, three, one, two, three, charge attack. And the prince shifts to there to ensure he's engaged. 